Once upon a time, in a small Indian village, there lived a young boy named Chanu. Chanu was an adventurous child who loved to explore the vast fields and forests surrounding his village. One day, as he was walking in the fields, he stumbled upon an old, wise-looking man who sat under a tree. The man was a wizard, and he had been watching Chanu for a while, impressed by his bravery and inquisitive nature. The wizard introduced himself to Chanu and told him that he had a special gift. Chanu was intrigued and asked the wizard what the gift was. The wizard replied that Chanu had the power to make anything he wished come true, but only if he used his gift for good. Chanu was skeptical at first but decided to give it a try. He closed his eyes and focused hard on his wish. Suddenly, the sky turned dark and the air crackled with energy. A bolt of lightning shot down from the sky and hit the ground in front of Chanu. When the smoke cleared, there was a beautiful, sparkling object lying on the ground. It was a magical wand, and the wizard told Chanu that it had the power to make anything he wished come true. Chanu was thrilled and immediately set out to test the wand's powers. He first wished for a beautiful garden in his backyard. With the wave of the wand, flowers and plants sprouted from the ground, and a lovely garden appeared in front of his eyes. Chanu was overjoyed and thanked the wizard. As Chanu walked through the village with his magical wand, he came across a farmer who was struggling to plow his fields. The farmer's ox had fallen ill, and he couldn't afford to buy a new one. Chanu saw the farmer's plight and wished for a healthy and strong ox. With the wave of the wand, the ox became healthy, and the farmer was able to plow his fields and plant his crops. Chanu continued to use his magic wand for good deeds, and soon his fame spread far and wide. People from all over the village came to him with their problems, and Chanu helped them all. One day, Chanu was approached by a group of wicked bandits who were terrorizing the village. They demanded that Chanu give them his magical wand, or they would harm the villagers. Chanu refused and stood his ground. The bandits attacked Chanu, but he fought back with all his might, using his wand to defend himself. The bandits were no match for Chanu's power, and they soon fled in fear. The villagers were amazed by Chanu's bravery, and they hailed him as a hero. Chanu realized that his magical wand was not just a tool for doing good, but a symbol of hope and courage. From that day on, Chanu used his magical wand to help people in need and to fight evil wherever it existed. He became a legend in his village, and people spoke of his heroic deeds for many years to come. The moral of Chana's story is that we all have the power to make a difference in the world, but it is up to us to use that power for good. With a little courage and determination, we can overcome even the greatest obstacles and achieve great things.